Hi, I'm Kat, and today we're going to be opening the Allure Beauty Box for April 2022. If you've been here for a while or ever at all, it is no secret that the Allure Beauty Box is my absolute favorite subscription box. It, I was about to say it never disappoints. Sometimes it disappoints, but very rarely does it disappoint. Usually it's full of pretty spendy brands, products I haven't tried before, things that are interesting to me. So I really like it. I get to try new things every time it comes and it's hands down my favorite subscription box. The Allure Beauty Box is $23 per month or you do have the option to sign up for a year prepaid in advance. That's $250 so it drops the monthly price a little bit. One of the really nice things about the Allure Beauty Box is if you stay continuously subscribed, they ensure that they do not send you duplicate items. So some months, some people might have some kind of crummy looking boxes. Oftentimes those are months where it's a bunch of like past box items all sent to them at once. If you stay subscribed, you only get like the new things. So just a little tip if you're interested in subscribing, definitely stay subscribed if you want to ensure that you're receiving all of the Allure spoilers and things that they're advertising for the box. As we open the box, I will be keeping a tally down below just so that you can see how far your $23 goes. When you open the box, it looks like this. There is a magazine every month in the box. Some months there's an advertisement on the back that indicates that it's a sponsored box and there will be a sample of whatever that sponsored product is. This month there isn't one. Each month the magazine includes a little bit of information about each of the products included in your box and typically also includes coupons for the manufacturer's websites of the items in the box. I will make sure to drop any coupon codes down below in case there's anything that you've been thinking about picking up. So the first item in the April box is from Osea. This is their essential hydrating oil. I'm originally from California. Osea is a California based brand. I can remember when they were brand new, which was, I don't even want to admit how long ago. They've been around quite a while. Osea stands for I never get this right. I think it's ocean, salt, earth, and atmosphere. I might be, I might be a little off. It's something like that. They were a clean beauty brand before clean beauty brands were popular. So this is what the hydrating oil looks like. Interestingly, it's a spray. I did not expect that. It says that this oil is an anti-aging miracle for normal skin, dry skin, and it provides anti-aging properties. It's a nourishing blend of eight essential oils, visibly plumps skin, and reduces appearance of fine lines. I love face oils, so I'm super happy to get this. Osea does something interesting. If you happen to be, I think that they have a boutique in either Malibu or Venice. Um, if you happen to be in that area, if you bring in either five or six empties of their products, they give you 20% off of spa services. So like, I don't know, if you're a big Osea fan, it's definitely worth it. Next up is, I thought it was a lip gloss and I was pretty excited for such an enormous lip gloss. It's not. This is from the Beauty Crop. This is a melon jelly dewy primer in extra, extra large size. It's an interesting looking primer. I've used the Beauty Crop eyeshadow primer that came in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar in I think 2020. It was okay, it was nothing I would ever buy, but it wasn't bad. I finished it. Well, I used it until it dried up. This says it's a makeup gripping gel primer that hydrates skin and helps makeup last all day. Hmm. Next item is from Elta MD Skincare. This is a UV Sheer Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Love getting SPF because then it's one less thing I have to remember to buy before I go on holiday. This is what this guy looks like. So this is 30 mil and it expires in November. So if you do get this box, keep that in mind. It's a pretty short expiration date. I've received a couple of SPFs recently that don't expire until the end of 2023. So you definitely want to like add this one into your rotation sooner rather than later. Ooh, then we have an Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. 
in this adorable little travel size. I have totally straight, just flat hair and I actually need to use dry shampoo the day that I wash my hair because it is so just limp when it's clean. Like it, it looks terrible. So this is great. I'm actually going on a business trip tomorrow. So I'm gonna pop this in my bag with me when I go so that I don't look like my hair is dirty the morning that I wash it. It's backwards, I know, but I use dry shampoo to give me a little bit of body and like a little bit of grittiness to my hair so that it doesn't look like so smooth and shiny on the top. So this is, this is good. Then from UV, UV, I have no idea how to pronounce this. We have a makeup sponge in purple. I'm assuming in purple, it says violet on the top here. Ooh, it is like purple, purple. Here's what this guy looks like. It's really soft. Oh, and it is so squishy. You cannot squish most sponges that much. It feels like we have more items than usual. The next item is from Scratch. These are Real Nail Art Nail Wraps. I paint my nails uh, once a week. I'm not huge into nail wraps. I do have quite a collection of them because, you know, sometimes you see cute ones and you gotta pick them up. I don't love them because they don't last as long as nail polish for me. Like I can polish my nails and then go on holiday for two weeks and come back and usually only have a couple tiny little chips depending on the polish and the base coat and top coat that I use. With nail wraps, they usually look pretty haggard within a day or two, but I'm definitely down to give these a try because like, look how cute they are. They're translucent and they're flowers. I think these could be really cute. The last item is very bubble wrapped. Let's see. Oh, this is from St. Lux. This is their liquid glow. St. Lux is a company that, I don't know if they still do, but they used to purchase white labeled cosmetics from China and then have their brand printed on them and then sell them as their own. I mean, they are their own, right? Like they're buying them, but that just isn't very interesting for me because they price them, you know, ridiculously high. The highlighters that they're buying for 30 cents each, they're selling for $30. So like those were made up prices, but that's like what it's like when you're buying from Alibaba and putting your name on something. So I don't really love receiving them because they're typically the same product in the same packaging that you could pick up like at a dollar store somewhere else but with the St. Lux name, then they charge more. I don't know if they still do that. This, they, this could be something that they've actually worked to formulate and make sure that they're happy with the consistency and the color. I don't know, but they had a rough start. And so I'm just a little leery about St. Lux products and boxes, but this is a liquid highlighter in rose gold. Let's see. Uh, so it's super liquidy. It has a doe foot applicator. Usually I would put a stripe on my face, but I totally forgot, and so we're getting it on my hand. So it's a very thin and runny consistency, but it's also very opaque. I haven't like smeared it around, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like, like it's, it, it looks, it looks a lot like a liquid shadow, and even smearing it around on my hand, it looks like a liquid shadow. So here it is like kind of smeared in. I don't know if you can even see it. I don't know. Not really happy to see a St. Lux product in my box, but that's it for my Allure Beauty Box for April 2022. Let me know your thoughts. Do you receive Allure? Did you get the same box? There are definitely variations depending on how long you have subscribed. I would love to hear. I'm always super interested in what's in these boxes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.